Hello my dear students. Today we are starting a new exercise. Exercise 5C from arithmetic progression. So we have already completed exercise 5A and 5B. So let us see 5C, the first question. Today we will learn question number 1 and 2. So let's see here question number 1. Find the general term of the AP given by x plus b, comma, x plus 3b, comma, x plus 5b, comma, dot, dot, dot. So here see the first three terms of the AP is given. It is already mentioned this list of numbers is an AP. Okay. So we can say this is an AP where first term is x plus b, second term is x plus 3b, third term is x plus 5b and dot 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 there are other terms. So see how we can find the solution of this question. See here solution I have written here AP is this is an AP actually this list of number according to question. So we write AP is x plus b comma x plus 3b comma x plus 5b comma dot dot dot. Now what is the first term in this AP? We can write here the first term we show by the letter a so i can write a is equal to x plus b this is the first term and what is the common difference common difference i can write what is the symbol for common difference it is d d meaning is what common difference a meaning is what first term so first term is x plus b and common difference d is equal to what is the formula for common difference? Second term minus first term. So what is the second term? X plus 3B minus the first term is X plus B. Okay. So this one simplify. See what is coming. Open the bracket first. It will be X plus 3B. And here to open the bracket multiply by this minus minus into x minus x minus into plus minus b and then see here x is plus x is minus we can cancel it so we get here 3b minus b 3b minus b 3b minus b means 2b okay so from here see we get the first term a is x plus b and common difference d is to b. Now we have to think what is the general term of an AP. See, we know the general term of an AP is given by this a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the general term of any AP. Okay, when they say general term, that means the n term. So, n term of the AP, before we explain, the n term of an AP is given by this a plus n minus 1 into d. Now, here you see, we can write therefore, a n is equal to c. What is a? A is the first term, just now we explained, and in this question, what is the value of A? A is X plus B. So write for A here, X plus B. Then plus this N minus 1 into, what is the value of D? D value is 2B. We can write here into 2B. And then is equal to here, C. Open this bracket first, it is X plus B then plus multiply this by 2b so here see n into 2b we can say twice b n minus 1 into 2b it is minus 2b and next is equal to see here x is alone so write this x and here we can see plus b and minus 2b. We can subtract this and this. So let the subtraction we do after. First I write this twice bn. Okay. Minus, let's do it now. Plus b minus 2b. What will come? Minus 1b. Okay. 
plus 1b minus 2b. So subtract b from 2b, it is b only. Bigger is minus sign, here is minus. And now is equal to x plus from here see b and b. From these two terms, b is common. So we can write that b common suppose here. I write that b common here. This b and b here is common. So from here, if b is common, remain here 2n. 2n minus from b, this b is common, remain here 1. Okay? Remain here 1. So we get this a n is equal to x plus 2n minus 1 into v. This is the general term of this given AP. Okay? This is the general term of this given AP. So we can write here is the answer. Which is the general term? We can write here answer. A n is equal to what? x plus 2n minus 1 into v. So next we will do question number 2, sub number 1 and 2. Okay.